Hi everyone. This is the sixth video in uh, Apache Spark Quick Tips and Tricks playlist. In this video, we are going to see how to compare a two data frame to get the corrupt values. Usually, when you are migrating uh, data from any source to destination, for example, from MySQL to HDFS, after migrating the data, you need to ensure the migrated data is correct. There are no corrupt va values populated into HDFS. To make sure, you may be writing a data validation framework to read the two data frame to do the validation. So once uh, you valid, you find out there are corrupt records. If you have like around 200 columns, you can't uh, manually go and check like which column values are corrupted. For that, you can use a stack operator along with bin, otherwise and outer join to find out the exact corrupt records along with the column values. Let's jump into the demo. In the first cell, I have initialized the Spark session in my local machine. In the second shell, I am trying to read two uh, customer related data information. Actually, two data frame will also have the same data. I have slightly tweaked the second data frame by copying the complete information from the first and I just modified the two records to ju for this demo purpose so that we can able to see how to pick the exact corrupt records and columns it, it will be easy for debugging while you want to do the data validation for this uh, demo I, um, I have modified the record number 999 and 1000 which is the customer ID column. I'm showing the two records, how the data look, how the data has been modified. In columns like department ID, if you see here, it is 1001, I modified to 1010, and 1009 from 1090. Also, I have changed some other columns like currency here, USD, I have changed it to US dollar, and country, here it is, United States, I have modified to USA. So Ideally, in our response, we would be when we are dealing with huge volume of data, you can't go and check like which row has a problem like this. So in real time, there may be like uh, hundreds or two hundreds of columns will be there. Even there may be a scenario you will be facing like uh, three thousand columns in big data and all, and also you will be seeing facing millions of records. In our another video, we will also see how to do the complete data validation. Here we will see how to go to the corrupt exact corrupt record and values with respect to the columns so we will see how we are arriving at this specific three columns with their distinct values i am choosing except except the customer id which is going to be the primary key i am choosing the remaining columns and we are using this query to fetch only the corrupt values between two data frames these two data frames if you see here after running this command using the stack and when otherwise condition with the outer join we are getting this exact uh, difference between the two columns if you see two data frame if you see here data frame with uh, 1009 and in second data frame we have 1090 similarly the difference between the two data frames on the country column and currency as well let's try to unwrap this and understand each command what it is trying to do before unwrapping this query we will try to understand what is stack in spark sql because we are using stack here in select select expression so stack is something the syntax of it n and x remaining all these things it will consider us as, as an expression so if you see here the number of the first value will def define the number of rows you want in the particular data frame and the remaining values or expression specify in an order way it will be filled there so if you see in first query we have specified number of rows as 2 and remaining values we have given 3 values this is arranged in the st in a stack to fill this 2 rows in second spark sql i have given 2 rows but i have inserted more than 10 around 10 values if you see here for the for the same two rows it is trying to organize the remaining all the values in an ordered fashion of the way you have inserted them 
similarly the same stars equal va- same sparks equal with different uh, n va- n values here 6 and 5 you can see the difference it is change is the dimension of and the shape of this data frame has been changed to 6 is to 2 ratio here 5 is to 3 ratio because we have given the number of uh, uh, n value as 5 now you may get a glimpse what ha- what is stack and how it works and let's start unwrapping our previous data frame uh previous spark sql queries and let's see how we arrived at this particular uh, data frame to get the distinct values between two data frames first we are doing the outer join between the two data frame next we are using select expression along with when otherwise condition here i am using equality null safe operator so if you didn't see my previous video check that equal how equal to null safe operator works i have i am attaching the same video description link in video description and also in the cards in the right top corner so when you are doing this equal to null safe operator this correct data data frame we are comparing with the corrupt data if you see here previously i forgot to explain this correct we have this first data frame with the name of correct data df and the second data frame which i modified it in the place of three columns i named it as corrupt data so here after doing outer join after doing outer join you are using equality null safe operator and along with when and otherwise condition so when it matches with the second data frame you are not, you are doing nothing when it is you are negating this operator here when it is not matched with the second data frame you are considering the first uh, va- first data frame value with the second data frame value and you are putting it into an array here one thing you need to notice for this this is for mainly debugging purpose you will with the, if you didn't if you forgot to cast you will end up with different uh, deb- you will end up with an error it as it says like array of different data frame can't be in the same column because when you are matching with uh, the second data frame initially you will compare the customer id or a department id which is an integer column and if there is a mismatch you will put this two values in a single array so this is array of big int or int but when you are trying to match some other columns like currency column which is also different and if you are for currency column it is string so now in a single column you can't keep array of string and array of int so to be safer side i am casting every column to a string so when i run this command you can see the exact uh, difference between two columns in the corresponding column names after outer join i am comparing the two col- two two data frames and we are arriving at the difference between the two data frames in a single column we under each column names now when i run this tag it will put under all these things under the, the so this number of rows depends on number of column names you have because i have used len of calls and you are joining remaining all the values in the same column so if you are getting a problem in department id you can see two rows and it says like in first data frame you have 1009 and in second data frame you have 1090 similarly in country in first data frame you have united states and in another data frame you have usa this is the way you can it will be easy for you to debug where exactly your data is getting corrupted and final i am just splitting because uh, filtering this null in the mismatch column because we don't do we have nothing to do with these columns sorry rows so this is the way clean way you can arrive at this column which where the da- where the data is corrupted thank you for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe to techilan